what would I do if I needed a client fast? Let's say in 48 hours or less. Listen, things in life happen, and one of the benefits of being a freelance copywriter is that if you need to drum up business or some extra cash for maybe a life emergency, it's pretty easy to do so, especially if you've got some really awesome tools in your back pocket, primarily solid client acquisition, a little bit of a network, and of course, a network of previous clients. Now, that's something I can rely on as an expert copywriter, but what if you're really starting at the beginning and you don't have things that are quite as well established? Still, there's some great things you can do here, and I want to give you some ideas on what you can do to get that extra client you need as fast as possible. First things first, you got to really think of this as a numbers game. So, if you don't have your mindset right about this, it's going to feel like a really daunting task. Instead, truly make it a game. For example, if you knew that you were 30 no's away from hearing a yes, how fast would you chase those no's? And that would be the kind of mindset you would need to bring into this situation. The next thing I'd keep in mind is you wanna go with a single strategy that you know works well, especially for you. For me, it would probably be cold emailing. I like outreach. Another good option would be contacting some of the connections on LinkedIn or reaching out to any other networks you might have maybe in Facebook groups. But basically, you're going to have to have a client acquisition strategy and it's going to need to be an outreach strategy. I would come up with a great customizable yet personable template that I could send out to as many people as possible. The next thing I do is reach out to anyone I had previously worked with. Now, even if you've only worked with one or two people, like that's enough. Reach out to them, ask them if they know anyone in their network who's looking for work, and you know, making sure that you're still not sounding needy or desperate along the way. Instead of just asking for general like help, come up with something that would be really helpful for them. Maybe put together a package or a pitch or some sort of offer that you would say that you're running a special on. Maybe it's because it's November and it's a Black Friday special. Like, Literally any reason you can come up with that makes sense, go for it. Another thing to keep in mind is you really wouldn't want to waste your time with some slow strategies like SEO. This is not the time for SEO. This is the time for outbound strategies. And when you're reaching out to any potential leads, maybe it's within your network, maybe it's a previous client, maybe it's on LinkedIn, maybe it's within your local network, right? Maybe it's small businesses that you come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe it's your hairdresser, maybe it's a yoga instructor, maybe it's your mother-in-law, maybe it's the person who did the photography at your wedding. Like truly, even thinking about the network around you, when you reach out to them, Reach out to them with something that's helpful that they would need that you can get started on quickly. And go for the warmer leads, you know? Who are the people who know you the best? They're gonna be more likely to say yes. So when you're reaching out to these people, put together an irresistible offer. Maybe it's a package, bundle pricing, a VIP day, whatever. And maybe you even offer it at some sort of discounted rate. Whatever you do, make sure it's really specific to them. It's actually gonna help them. It's something that they want and it's an irresistible offer. Now, if all of these strategies don't work out for you, the next thing that I would do is probably reach out to other copywriters. This is especially helpful if you have a copywriter network or community that you're part of, which I highly recommend that you are, but reach out to those people next. Again, try not to seem too needy, but with these guys, you probably can explain your situation just a touch more. You can say you're trying to drum up business, maybe something happened and you're happy to do some extra work for someone. But again, try not to sound too needy and try not to overshare whatever the personal situation that has you kind of in this predicament to begin with. So reach out to other copywriters. That's another great strategy. Now, keep in mind that these things happen, and so it's a good idea to do a few things in your business so that when you need to drum up extra work, you have some places to turn. And what I mean by that is start cultivating friendships with other copywriters now. Start building a community of other entrepreneurs. Start familiarizing yourself with other people in your industry, even being helpful in Facebook groups and on LinkedIn without actually you know, starting to work with someone. All of these little things are kind of warming up the opportunities in your own immediate network. So start thinking about it now. All right, I hope this helps. If it did, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. You guys give me great ideas of what to cover next. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.